Morella is still a bored housewife. Blech, I can't talk anymore. So, I know a lot of us are spending a lot of time at home. At some point, you start to get a craving and you want a snack. So, I had this can of dry bean blend organic, some vegan sour cream, I had some spices, so I thought, why don't I just make a bean dip? Easy, healthy, you can snack on it while you're drinking, while you're watching TV. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make this dip. So, use your magic bullet, you can use your hand mixer, you can use your blender, whatever you have. Anytime I'm using something that's in a can that can be rinsed with water, I do. So I rinse these with water multiple, multiple times. So I try bean blend, because one type of bean is not enough. Try bean blend getting your husband extra gassy. 10 of these little cherry tomatoes because they're sweet. I'm going to put a tablespoon of my vegan organic sour cream. Okay. Salt, salt is to your taste. I'm going to blend these together, okay? And we're back, let's see. This needs more salt. I like my food really spicy. You don't have jalapenos in the house, fresh jalapenos, no problem. A lot of us do have hot sauce, so we're gonna add hot sauce to it. How much hot sauce is up to you? Let's blend this again. Okay, oh, it's got like a nice red color. That is spicy, just the right amount of salt. We're gonna take this out. It's gonna be a good idea to refrigerate this for an hour or so before serving it. So the only other two things that I'm gonna add are fresh red onion and cilantro, which I chopped prior to this. There we go. And there you go. Super easy. Everything was organic except for the hot sauce and things that are pretty easy to find around the house usually. Wow, oh this is good. Mmm, you know what this needs? A gummy bears. Now we're gonna make the sour gummy bear martini. So, I posted this on my social media last week and you guys begged me for the recipe. You DM'd me, you text me, you lost your sh went back crazy. Everybody flipped the f out. This drink doesn't take a long time to make, but you know what takes a long time to do? Getting these freaking gummy bears on these little sticks. It took forever. Okay, maybe they're not the freshest gummy bears. Literally, I've guarded these with my life after I made them. Threatened my husband. It took forever to make them. Stop it, the gummy bear martini. Okay, so we have our martini glass that's chilling. Gummies on a stick. Trusty little shot glass. We have two shots of the red berry Ciroc vodka in here. You could use unflavored vodka, whatever you like. I decided to go with the berry. This next ingredient is from a company called Brothers Reserve. I use a lot of their mixers. It's a sour watermelon mixer. There's no alcohol in it. It says watermelon margarita, but it tastes really good with vodka also. And shot glass that in there, okay. I'm also going to add the juice of half a lemon because as we all know, I love my things to be super sour. If you wanted, you could add simple syrup. I'm going to use the juice from the maraschino cherry jar, okay? Because it adds a nice color and it tastes good and it makes it a little sweet. I'm gonna put in half a shot glass of that. We have this chilling, right? I'm gonna put this in here. We're gonna shake it. It smells like candy. There we go. Look at that pretty color. The piece, the resistance, these f***ing gummy bears. Here. Oh, that's good. That's really good. It tastes like you're actually taking a bite into one of the sour gummy bears. Anyhow, so there's the recipe. Today, we made a really quick bean dip. We made this amazing cocktail. Thank you for watching. Be safe and... I'll see you soon.